No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. The word commentary says, uh, explains it like this. If you remain in me, I shall remain in you. But the emphasis in the passage is on Jesus, the vine. Hence it is more likely that a note of encouragement is intended here. And be assured, I am remaining with you. In the divine relationship, grace is alike the source and support of faith. On this condition alone, fruit bearing is possible. Let me read that again to you. In the divine relationship, grace is alike the source and support of faith. On this condition alone, fruit bearing is possible. Grace, unmerited favor. It's not because you deserve it. It's not because you've done something. It's not because your faith has managed to squeeze out enough to bring forth some grapes. It's none of those reasons. It's because of grace. It's because we are able, through what Jesus has done for us, we are able to bring forth much fruit. It's not something that we have to do, make an effort and squeeze out some grapes and all oh, try so hard and maybe by praying and maybe by this and maybe by that some grapes might come out and oh goodness me. No, 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 no. The wonderful thing is that it's by grace that we receive the faith to produce the fruit in our lives. It's nothing to do with us. It's what God does in us. And that is what is so wonderful. Jesus has done it all for us. In the divine relationship, grace is alike the source and support of faith. On this condition alone, fruit bearing is possible. He says, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except you abide in me. But as we abide in him, the fruit grows. It's natural. It's a normal process. It's not something that has to be worked up or have to find the answer for, have to find a special key that opens the door that makes the fruit become unlocked. No, no, nothing so complicated. God would not leave it complicated for us because he knows we couldn't cope. It's as you abide in the vine, as you stay with Jesus, as the life of God permeates through your being, that abundant life, so the fruit grows. It's a natural process. You don't hear the trees and the, and the plants going <coughs> while they're trying to grow. <laughs> it's just a natural process. They grow. I've been watching the bluebells in the woods. I take my dogs for a walk every day. And... Uh, I've been watching them and waiting, waiting for these bluebells to come up. And uh, as I've walked in this last week, I've seen just a few little heads of bluebells coming up. But soon it'll be an absolute carpet of blue. But you don't hear the bluebells going, <coughs> no, it's just natural. It's just wonderful. And that's what's so marvelous about the abundant life. If we abide in him and he abides in us, that abundant life flows through us and then fruit naturally grows. It's not something we have to work up. It's not something we have to try and do something for. It just grows. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. It's true. Without him, we can't do anything. But it, 
If we abide in him, we bring forth much fruit. So God's not con content that we should just have, you know, a little tiny bunch. God's not content that we should look, look a bit kind of sparse. God wants us to have a huge great big bunches of grapes growing out. And God is never one to just leave us with a little bit. Because he says, I will give you life and life more abundant. Life overflowing. Life that's, that's, that's never stops. Life that never ceases. It's the life that takes you through to eternity. It's the same quality of life that you get when you go up uh, to meet him. It's the same quality. That wonderful, abundant life. If you abide in me, the, um, he that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. There's no, if you do this and if you don't do that, maybe I will, maybe I won't. If you're good enough, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But no, Jesus says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will and I'll give it. He just is a wonderful, wonderful, generous, so generous God. He says, I'll give you life and life more abundant, life overflowing, life so, so wonderful, so precious, so joyful, so marvelous. It really is so special. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. So shall you be my disciples. God gives us lots of fruit because that glorifies him. 